What's up guys, KG Trading here with another video today. Um, today's video is going to be going over option Greeks. Very simply, because lots of people like to over um, complicate it. It's actually very simple. And I would like you to get a pen, paper, pencil, whatever you want, and write this down. Because you can have this by you whenever you need it. It's very simple. This won't be a long video, alright? So... First one we're going to be going over is Delta, okay? So the Delta, well, right now I'm on SPY options. Okay, here's my chart. I'll switch you to monitor two. Here's the options chain. I have two. I have three monitors, one recording, one chart, and one option chain. So, all right. So I'm on SPY. I'm going to be doing this with SPY options so I can just show you, like, easy. Because lots of people... Do spy options, and this is just some knowledge, all right? So, delta. Here is the delta column. You can see the blue to the black right here. This is the first in the money call. This is the first in the money put. If it's black, it's out of the money. If it's blue, it's in the money. Same for this side, okay? So I'm, I'm just going to go um, with the call. So you see the delta. The delta for this call option is 0.70. On options, you have to multiply it by 100. So you can easily do this in your head. This means, since it's 0.71 now, you will get paid $71 every single dollar that SPY moves. So if SPY moves up a dollar from 390.78 to 391.78, you will be paid $71. Bam, right to your account, okay? That's how that works. Delta tells you how much you will be paid per dollar move. And that's how much you also lose per dollar move if it goes down a dollar. Okay, so delta. Delta means, this is the definition of delta. It is how much the value should change every one dollar move that the underlying stock moves or ETF moves. So delta means that's how much you'll be paid every single time the stock moves a dollar okay gamma right here gamma is rate of change in an options delta per one point move in the stock's price so what the gamma does is basically once the once this goes up 70 bucks so you can see what the price is right here. So it's a it's a hundred dollars to buy this option. If it goes up one dollar, if, if spy goes up one dollar, it will now be a hundred and seventy dollars because you have to add on that delta. Um, this might confuse some people, but now if if spy goes up a dollar, this whole option right here will now be in this option spot. Everything will move up one because the strike price, the strike price, everything will move up one because now these are all in the money okay so when that happens you add your gamma onto it so since it moved up an entire dollar now you have to add 0.24 because now that's how much it will be getting more with the delta so you can see the difference 68 minus 85 what is that 78 yeah 25 dollars so once this option moves up you'll be getting paid an extra $25. So now your delta is now 84. And then if it goes up another dollar, you add 15, now it's 92. And it keeps getting higher and higher and higher, okay? So when it moves up a dollar, you add the gamma, boom, this is now the other option. That's what it will do. And you'll get paid that. So if it moved up, a dollar you get paid 68 cents now it's this plot in this space and then you get paid that much all right so that's how that works next up is theta theta measures the time decay of the option okay so theta <clears throat> sorry for the background noise this is how much the option will lose per day every day Obviously, the expiration for on the one I am is zero days. 
So let me go a little farther out. Or let's just go seven days out. The theta on this in the money option is 19. So every single day you hold this option, you will lose $19. Every single day, excuse me, every single day, this will change. Everything will change every single day. So you got to make sure you're watching it. Okay. Go back up here. Next up is Vega. Vega is how the change in implied volatility will affect the options price. An increase in implied volatility increases the options price. So Vega, 0 0.07. So if that is 0 0.07, that means $7. So if there's more implied volatility, then that's how much more the option will be priced. So if all of a sudden SPY gets a ton of volume and it starts moving a lot of like 30, 40 cents every couple seconds, your implied volatility will shoot up and your option will now be a lot more expensive. That's what that means. Okay. So when you buy an option, you want to buy it with the highest gamma to make the most money. That's, that's why you want to basically trade the in the money um, in the money options. They have the highest gammas, which means every single dollar it moves, you'll be getting paid an extra 25 bucks plus your delta. So it moves so much more, so much quickly. And that's why I, if I'm day trading options, you know, 10, 30, couple hours, whatever it might be, I will always buy the in the money or the one right out of the money. Because you can see the gamma is so high and your delta is very good. You get paid a lot of money. So I'm going to do a real quick overview. All right. Delta. That's how much you get paid. Um, every single dollar the underlying stock or ETF moves. So let me go back to my other one. If SPY all of a sudden goes up a dollar, I will be paid $69. And then plus 24. So gamma. Gamma is the rate of change that the option changes per point. So again, if SPY goes up a dollar, you get paid 68 cents or $68. You add 25, so you should, should be getting paid like $90 because it will be getting that much more expensive. All right? Okay. Um, theta, that's how much money you're going to lose on the option every single day that you hold it. So on this option right here, you're going to be losing basically $30 every single day you hold it. So if you held this through expiration, you held it till tomorrow, because these expire today. You held it till tomorrow. Let's say you bought it for $98. If, if nothing moved on the stock, if nothing moved on SPY, you would lose 30 bucks. So you would, you would lose 30 bucks on the trade, no matter what. That's how much you will lose every single day you hold it. Okay. Since these are so far in the money and so far out of the money, they don't really lose that much money. Since they're in the money, they lose a lot of money. And the Vega, the Vega is how, how much, hold on, how the change in implied volatility will affect the options price. So again, an increase in implied volatility increases the options price. So if SPY starts moving like 50 cents all over the place, like it did back in the flash crash back in March, of last year if anybody was an option trader you remember that options with zero days that means they are expiring today or nine hundred dollars because of how much the implied volatility went up that means the vega goes up which means the price of the option goes up they were nine hundred dollars because you can make so much money they had to price some more um because they were moving so much money they were moving dollars left and right left and right so they had to price them higher right okay so hopefully that was easy hopefully you wrote what i said down hopefully you understand it please leave a comment if you did please leave a comment if you did not understand it um leave a comment if you think i did a great job explaining this it's very straightforward very simple um and very good information so please leave a like subscribe and comment. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.